Hello everyone, I am Vishwas from Team Wins. You all might be wondering why we have made this video. Well, my team has come up with a unique solution in order to solve a major problem regarding irrigation that has been troubling all the farmers of our nation. So, why irrigation? Well, the thing is, according to the facts and researches that have been made so far, Israel farmers use 900 liters of water in order to grow 1 kg of rice, whereas Indian farmers use nearly 16,000 liters of water in order to grow the same quantity of rice. Isn't that waste of water? Well, yeah, it's true. We have to admit that Indian farmers are lagging behind in bringing up new solutions or technology in their irrigation. Hello, I am Vinny. Now I am going to explain hardware components used in our project. First one is Big Development Board. It is basically a microcontroller used to control all our project. And next, Soil Moisture Sensor. It is used to measure the moisture level in soil. Water pump. It is used to supply the water to the soil. And motor driver. It is used to control the water pump. Next, last. Wi-Fi model. It is used to communicate between uh, with microcontroller board and cloud. These are the softwares we used in our project. First one, MicroPro. We used this to program our microcontroller. Android Studio. We used Android Studio to develop our app. Hercules. We used Hercules to serial monitor our sensor values. ThinkSpeed. It is an interface in the form of graph about a project. So let me explain you about the methodology. The input section consists of the moisture sensor. The moisture sensor senses the value of the moisture from the environment and takes the input and sends it to the microcontroller board. The microcontroller board what we have used is PIC development board, PIC 1687788. So what it does this? It takes the input from the moisture sensor and as per the program what we have given to the board, it performs a task and sends the output to the water pump. Now the water pump pumps the water to the soil and thus maintaining the required soil moisture. Next, the Wi-Fi module has been also connected to the board. So Wi-Fi module sends the data to the ThingSpeak cloud. The ThingSpeak acts as the server between the board and our app. So our app has got a link of the ThingSpeak which is used to read the data of soil moisture against time. Thus, you can get how much of water has been used in a day's time. My name is Prashant and I am going to explain you this concept using the graph as drawn in the board. So, we have taken moisture in the y-axis and time in x-axis. When our system is not installed, as you can see in a bright sunny day, the water in the soil decreases like this. And from here, after we install our system, the, wat the water is pumped as, requi as required by the plant. So we can see that the water is pumped in threshold level itself. After this, due to the sunshine, due to the sun's rays, again the moisture in the soil drops. The, at that time, our control system will again increase the water in the soil. So, it, it, it pumps more than the requirement and it sums up to this level. And this process continues up to which our water requirement will be in the threshold level itself. So, this system allows us to keep the water in a limited level itself. Not too high, not too low. And you may be thinking in rain. And you may be wondering, in rainy season, what happens? In rainy season, we do not need more water for the plant. So, our system will not pump the water, as the water uh, required will come from... Hello everyone, my name is Vishnu Das, and I am, uh, as my friend has explained in the previously about the working of the model, now I am going to give you the live demonstration of the model. Uh, you can see this is the PIC microcontroller in which we have given the certain instructions to be performed uh, which takes in input and which gives output. This is the soil moisture sensor. Uh, 
uh, which detects the amount of so moisture present in the soil. Uh, this is the motor drive which is connected to the motor here, uh, which pumps the water to the soil. This is the water tank and this is the Wi-Fi module which is uh, which is connected to the uh, BIC microcontroller which is connected to the microcontroller which in turn uh, is connected to the cloud uh, and we can get the information through the InSpeed server now I am going to give you the live demonstration of the working of this now this is the soil moisture which is in, put in the soil now as the, there is a sufficient amount of moisture present in the soil now I will slowly remove the moisture, moisture sensor out from the soil which indicates that there is no proper amount of moisture and you can see the amount of water being found uh, as you have seen there was a small small pump of the soil which indicates there, was, there is low moisture content in the soil and the pump will automatically get on and pump some water you can see the water is getting pumped which indicates there, is, uh, there was low content of moisture present in the soil and the water has been pumped and the pump has stopped indicating there is sufficient amount of water present in the soil now i will show you one more thing again i will remove the soil moisture sensor but the time interval of removing of the soil moisture sensor from the soil will be different from the previous case which indicates the motor to uh, on the pump on the water for a different time moisture versus time uh, you can see the graph here uh, moisture versus time you can see the graph the amount of moisture increase and when the water has been uh, stopped being pumped the graph has gradually decreased down and you can see the other two graphs which gives a clear idea of the so let me tell you about the, our app our app is built for farmers so as you can see this app is called Krishik And as you can see, there are five icons in this. So the About Us page contains uh, uh, about our uh, association and uh, vision for our company. So next thing which we can see is the Enquiry page. So the Enquiry page contains like you have to enter your name, your ID. If you just have to, if you need to enquire to, with us your problems, and uh, about crops. The next thing which we can see is the directory. Yeah. So as you can see, we have added a variety of uh, crops in which uh, the main crop has uh, different types of sub crops. Like uh, in wheat, we have DBW17. With the farmer uh, can uh, see the information. Right now, we have taken one variety. So when he presses that, he can see like uh, information about that crop, how, how much water to put, uh, what is the optimum temperature it needs, what condition it grows, what climate it needs, etc. And uh, about the fertilizers and pesticides which you can put. We have also added a link below, uh, in which if you press, the farmer will get information about how much water is pumped for that day and he also gets the curve of uh, moisture versus time if he needs uh, data about so you all might be wondering what is special about the soil moisture management system well we have developed and designed the system in such a way that it can be implemented in the simplest way possible in order to help the farmers not to complicate things the system will thereby Help the farmers by efficient usage of water and give quality crops to the farmer. I hope you all like the video. Thank you.